So I have a series of images that I brought in from Dolly 3, and it's I'm going to bring that one in right now so you can see what this can do. Now, I like, I think this is perfectly comp compositioned, composition, <laughs> but you can see this is my border where I can go up to my area where my picture can go to the margins. So all I do is I click on one of the, I click on the photograph or the image. I go to edit photo and I choose background remover. If I want just one button click and it removes my background. It's a really handy. See that? Isn't that beautiful? Really quick, really fast. And the detail is super, really good. Now let's take a look at something. There's a little mistake here. We can fix it because I can go the, into it really closely. You can see that his eyes are also transparent. So if you look at here on the left-hand side, the configuration, there's some, there's some adjustments we can make. We can go into the restore section, right, which is this selection. And with our tool, we can now restore his eye color. So there is nothing that has been removed here. In fact, we probably want to go around here again just to make sure that nothing else was removed inadvertent, inadvertently. Um, everything else looks pretty good. I probably would make this just a tad smaller and just kind of go in here and make sure that this also is not transparent. And I can increase the, um, you know, I don't know if I can do that or not, but everything else looks pretty good right here. I can fix that. Not, not too many of the other software programs do this for you. So you can definitely make this smaller and it might have taken, for instance, the neck. The only thing I don't like about it is it does, I can't hit shift to make a straight line. I have to just do it by eye. And that sometimes is, it's just extra work. See how nice that is? And so that that is background remover also up here. You can see that there's some things that got taken out. This will be covered up by a uh, by a border anyway, so it doesn't really matter that it's so precise. And then down here, in fact, I don't even know if there's a stage here or what it is. See, I can just fill that right back in. And th in this case, I would do a bigger a bigger um, brush size. But you get the idea, isn't that nice? And so then you'd, you'd hit enter and then you'd be done. Now, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna um, go back here and we're going to do an undo or just get rid of this picture altogether. It's kind of cool, but I am going to, to do undo. This is for demonstration only. So bring back my uh, size, you can see it better. Now, here is, that's background mover. Magic Let's say erase. I didn't want that microphone there. It looks kind of strange. So I go into collect, oops, I go into magic eraser and I just remove this. And it's gonna be thinking. It's better to pick your brush size first because it's gonna think first. It's gonna process. So let's make this a little bit smaller. And now I can go in and move this mic stand. Might clip off his tentacle, I'm not sure. Oh, I got it. So now I can just put in another one. That seems more reasonable. I can I can actually add this microphone right here. And that's a nice feature. What it does is it it, it completes the background so that you can then um, you know continue on with your work. So that's another one. All right. Now. I can also say go we back. wanted to use magic edit. Let's say we want to add a hat. We're just going to go over here, continue, add a hat. It gives you so much flexibility. Um, so here's the different hats. That's a woman's hat. Another kind of hat. And then you, if you don't like it, generate new results. Just, you know, just keep going till you find the one that you want. Um, 
I, I should probably write big hat because, oh, there's, there you go. Let's get a, a, a beret. Some really funky things here. That's probably the best one. Um, we go back here, and I'm just going to... The next tool is probably my favorite, Magic Grab. Magic Grab will take your image, your foreground image, and remove it from the background while still keeping the background intact. It's pretty amazing. So we're just going to click on this image and click Magic Grab. And with one button, you don't have to do much. You just sit here and wait. And it's not Quick. thinking a lot. Now, the only thing that might slow it down is Canva just announced these programs. And it made a huge difference. So there's it took everything, all the people. And there's the, there's the background. But isn't that cool? Let's say you wanted a totally different background. You can do that now with this. And you have a background. You're not losing the background which is amazing. Um, I like this a lot and I use it a lot. Picture of me. So I have uh, some some text here and I wanted to say, I wanted to remove that text. I click on edit photo, grab text. And what it will do is it'll, it'll turn that text now that's embedded in the picture into a text box that you so can then delete. delete and it's gone. So that's really nice. I don't know if it will do this or probably won't do that little carrot, upside down carrot, but it does everything else. So. It, it does a great job removing text that's unwanted. Uh, it's a great tool. And so I strongly recommend you use all six of these tools. They'll definitely make your life easier. And I can't wait to see what you do.